The EU's multiple Brexit trade deal plots are failing as the UK is able to dismiss Brussels' trade talk strategy, an expert has argued. Shearman and Sterling partner, Barney Reynolds, argued the UK must dismiss the multiple attitudes and ideas the EU has been attempting to push during the Brexit trade talks. During an interview with Express.co.uk, the expert from the top legal firm claimed the EU was holding on to multiple nonsense notions in the trade talks. Mr Reynolds highlighted why the UK should not buckle to Brussels claims the UK should be worse off after Brexit, abide by EU rules and be subject to their level playing field. Mr Reynolds said, what we need to do is to set out what we want. So far there has been a lot of framing from the EU of the negotiations where they create a thought bubble within which they operate and pump themselves up. They hope that people over here have that thought bubble resonate. That thought bubble is something that we must pierce through. Mr Reynolds outlined the notions within the EU's thought bubble and how British negotiators needed to respond to the EU strategy. He said, it contains things like, the UK must be worse out than in the EU, we are talking about a trade deal here. The trading arrangements don't need to be any worse than being within the EU in any material economic sense. In fact, the more beneficial they are for both parties the better for everyone. This bubble also includes things like the level playing field, an attempt to apply EU state aid law which is clearly unleveled. That concept of a level playing field is simply contradicted by the facts. Mr Reynolds admitted that there did need to be a level playing field between the UK and EU for trade but noted what is being proposed ISNT good enough. He added, there does need to be some sort of level playing field for trade, not what is being proposed but there does need to be something. There is also the issue of the invisible border for the north-south border in Ireland. That then avoids the application of EU law in Northern Ireland as it is incompatible with the agreed solution of UK sovereignty. Also in the bubble is the idea that the UK is the one that chose to leave so the UK has to pay the consequences. That is a bit of a nonsense because it is a treaty-based organisation and in fact, the idea of paying consequences to leave, leaving is just part of the contract as we have a right to leave the club. 